All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and it has begun. The official countdown uh, for the five-year anniversary is here. Uh, we have reached the seven-day countdown. Um, obviously, we had the uh, very, very long maintenance yesterday, which brought a couple of changes into the game, a couple of... Uh, as of right now, minor things, we'll see more about them, though, you know, kind of like the decoration feature, the sticker feature, um, the equipment is going to be interesting, we do know that there's going to be a new event, um, a training with Whis event that will allow us to farm up this equipment, you know, we'll kind of see what it is, um, alright, so there's a couple of different things we got here, so I believe this is just a, you know, uh, the countdown to the five-year anniversary campaign, um, alright, so we got, you know, just a normal countdown, uh, SNS, uh, looks like all Dokkan events are now available, like, all the way through until March. All so Battle Road stages are available until March as well. The three-minute stamina has started. This SNS campaign, which is just, you know, do the little tweet uh, or whatever, and you get one stone per day. You know, something very nice. Again, oddly enough, Global has never gotten that, but Global does usually get those stones uh, through different methods. Usually, Global get does get a lot of stones via different things on Facebook, right? So even though Global has never really gotten this SNS thing, they always do get those stones anyway. Um... Oh, the Baba points. What is that? They're cutting one third. Okay, that's that's helpful right there. Um, and then four times EXP. So now is the time to grind up rank for sure. Um, maybe a little bit disappointed that they did not, for the first time ever, give us five times rank EXP. I mean, obviously that would have made sense, right, for the five year anniversary, but uh, we did not get that. So this is a little countdown campaign. Um, so you know, again, um, if today, right? So let me go ahead and we're gonna flip over here. Uh, so if today, right, is basically day seven, then that means the anniversary is going to start on the 29th. Um, cause right now, uh, this, this went live about two hours ago right now. So right now on the clock for me, it's 4am. Um, you know, the seven day countdown started at 2am, right? So seven days from now on the 29th, um, the five year anniversary is going to begin. And then I would presume the units would come out the following day on the 30th. Um, we'll, again, we'll see, but it's either going to be the 30th or the 31st, but I think the 30th, um, is when we are going to see the new Vegito and new Gogeta, which have been confirmed, um, by the French data miners, right? Uh, so we'll see, uh, we'll, 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 we'll see how good they're going to be. Um, I, I presume they're going to be very, very good, but you know, again, it's something that we'll, we'll see very soon. All right. So, um, let me hit over here. This is just the, you know, day seven. Now, look at this. There's, what, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 tickets just by logging in. These five-year anniversary tickets. Um, the tickets, of course, will be available to be used on a ticket banner, which um, I, I believe for the three-year anniversary, they put it up, like, right now, right? Like, the ticket banner dropped. Oh, it looks like, yeah, there you go, the 29th. Um, the ticket banner dropped, I believe, alongside the countdown campaign, right? But uh, every other anniversary, the ticket banner has dropped once the anniversary has officially begun. Um, now, we did see in V-Jump, it mentioned something about a free LR on the 55th summon using tickets. Now, I presume it's these tickets. So, the way I think this is going to work is that at the 55th summon on the banner for every player, you're going to get a guaranteed LR like a step up, uh, like the step up a guaranteed LR banner. That's the way I assume it's going to work, right? Like we don't have any confirmation of that or anything right now. For all we know, it could be a brand new LR. I mean, we know that the anniversary right now seems to be themed around Realm of Gods slash the Broly movie. So some sort of LR from either of those places, you know, I don't know, maybe like an LR um, young Nappa, young Raditz, and, like, young, uh, you know, Vegeta, or something like that, right? And, like, they're, like, a free-to-play LR that everyone gets for free on, like, the 55th Summon or something like that. Like, who knows? Um, but as of right now, like, the way it was worded in V-Jump, to me, um, implied that it would just be, you know, you're randomly gonna get one of the unfeatured LRs, um, from, like, you know, typical Legendary Summon banners, right? So, like, you know, LR God Goku, uh, maybe, like, LR Spirit Bomb Reserve Goku, LR Tech Broly, LR Goku Trunks and Pan, you know, LR STR Broly, um, LR Majin Vegeta. I assume it's going to be one of those. Um, everyone is going to get one of those for free. 
Um, these tickets are obviously awesome. I'm sure by the time the anniversary is done, every player will get probably over 200 tickets for free, I would assume. You know, some of that depends upon how generous they are with top grossing, right? We have seen many times in the past where, you know, uh, like JP would hit top grossing, they give out stones, JP would hit top grossing again, and then they'll give out a whole uh, bunch of tickets, right? So, you know, we'll, we'll see exactly uh, what kind of top grossing bonuses they give out, like how much tickets are going to be involved, how many how many stones is it going to be, like what exactly they're going to decide to do with some of that stuff is going to be very interesting. Um, and then as we see the stones, what, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, ten stones uh, via the login bonus as well. Plus the SNS, that's not really too bad. Again, I, I expect by the time this is, all, like, the anniversary is all said and done, I would expect over a thousand free-to-play stones um, for, for all players. So, you know, keep, keep that in mind. A thousand free-to-play stones. Because the fourth year anniversary, I think, was right around a thousand. And I, I just see no way that they're going to move backwards uh, with free stones. I just don't, I don't foresee that happening, right? So, um, I would expect probably somewhere in the area of a thousand free stones, which is just, it, it's just so much like, you know, I, it's everyone, this anniversary is going to be really good for a lot of people. There's no doubt about that. Um, and then this is, oh, I, this is, oh, I just like a Twitter campaign. It looks like, uh, let's see what we got here. We got some stones, uh, turtle, like the turtle shells, Z swords, um, Beerus planet, uh, that looks like it's going to be ores of every type, Zenny, and a couple of Elder Kai's, as well as some stones. So, you know, again, just, just an extra little, like, you know, rewarding bonus that they're going to give out here. Um, so, for this SNS thing, all you do is you hit line right there. It says OK. Then it'll open this up right here. And then, really, all, all you have to do is then just go back into the game. Boom. And your stone is waiting for you. Like, that's it. it you know, I, 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 I waited to do that on video just to show you all that. You don't have to really worry about, like, you know, tweeting it out. Because, you know, typically I'll see a lot of people will be tweeting this out nonstop. And it's like, you don't even have to do that. You just press line. And then you could just, like, X out of it. And, like, it's it's automatically going to spit out the stone towards you. So here we go. We got two stones and then the five uh, anniversary tickets already. Let me just confirm that the anniversary... I mean, I know the ticket banner is not up because I would have... You know, everyone would have been going crazy if the ticket banner's up if it was actually up, right? Now, there's two other things I want to go over real quick. Um, I guess, well, a couple, but, so we find, we have a new option here, um, on the main menu screen. I mean, this is the first time we've gotten a new, like, button here since, uh, I believe 2016. Uh, the last time a new button was added was the reverse feature and then the hidden potential system. That was the last time we actually had something added here. So I, I, that, I think is very interesting. Oh, and we can now see, uh, here we go the equipment feature um so let's let's take a look at the best unit in the game uh lr kill and khalifa right there boom as you guys can see um i you know i do have all of these open like there's the gold equipment that we could potentially you know add there um there's a the silver equipment which i believe you have to be sa10 right there uh the gold equipment you have to have um two dupes unlocked and then the bronze equipment right here i think you just have to have them z awakened basically um, and you're able to equip the bronze equipment. Uh, I, I, from what I'm seeing so far of what the equipment is going to look like, I believe it's going to benefit uh, the... I, personally, I think the Super Vegito units are going to get benefited the most because um, AJL Super Vegito is very good after his EZA, but he's a prisoner of crits. You need him to just crit every single attack or else he's going to look not that impressive. If you could just stack crit for all three equipments for like AGL Super Vegito and I don't know let's say you can double his crit chance he becomes 50 times better like Super Vegito becomes insane if like he's gonna knock out like six crit counters in a row he's gonna be like uh, unbelievable like like the, the fact that he'll get like really hurt on a super attack like basically won't even matter anymore like it's just gonna be insane so that's gonna be very interesting to see um again I I have most units in the game like with all dupes and stuff like that in order to actually see a unit that I don't have all dupes on, uh, I, I, okay, I, in my head, I know the one I'll pull up. We could pull up the this Gohan right here. Yep, there we go. Okay, so this Gohan, I own, this is the 50, what's going to be the 50%, oh, whoops, it, my, oh, oh no, it's one of these, it, it's weird. Some days, my cord disconnects, other days, it just does not disconnect. Like, so, looks like today is a day where it's just going to randomly disconnect. Okay, so I won't, uh, 
I won't move around too much while recording. Okay, sometimes I get very animated while recording, and I'm even though I'm not on camera, I'm swinging my arms around and stuff like that. Okay, um, yeah, this guy will become the fifty percent support Gohan. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, here we go. All right. Um, I, so obviously, you know, these units I have not had a chance to really pull for a lot. And then as we can see, you know, he is a UR, so the bronze is unlocked. Um, he is a SA-10, so the silver is unlocked, but I only have one dupe in him, so the gold is uh, locked. So we'll we'll see how impactful that's going to be. Again, it doesn't seem like the equipment is going to be the craziest thing ever. It seems like it's just um, buffs for the hidden potential system. So certain units, I think, will definitely look like get more of a tangible effect from it. Like, for example, I I'll say this, but Kale and Khalifla... They already do so much damage, and, like, they already have so many attacks, so they activate their Hidden Potential System attack very often that I, I just feel like they're not a unit that would, like, way, way jump up from the equipment. I mean, we'll see how it's going to look, but I don't think Kale and Khalifa are going to get, like, you know, twice as good. I think a unit like uh, Tech Vegito Blue or Physical Super Vegito or AGL Super Vegito, they're making ground on, like, every other unit in the game. Like, those, like, kind of counter-type units. They're making a little bit of ground on every other unit in the game is what I think is going to happen. So, um, I mean, <laughs> maybe uh, the blue Vegito has counters or something like that. Like, you know, because the equipment does seem geared towards the Vegito units, to me, right now, without it officially implemented in-game yet, right? Um, this, I believe, is, like, the sticker or decoration feature. Um, you know, so we'll, you know, once we can get stickers, we'll be able to actually, like, put it on these units. Uh, looks like this right here is a list of all the units that can actually utilize the sticker or decoration feature, whichever this is. Um, as you can see, it's all Dokkan Fest exclusives and EZAs. Um, I did see as well that... Okay, yeah, they are here. The the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and then uh, the uh, Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku, um, they, you know, they have the little effect as well, so... Uh, EZAs and Dokkan Fest exclusives, so it'll be interesting to see, because I think even the physical Goku, yeah, even this guy's on here, you know, yeah, the, his EZA area stage came out last night, I haven't had a chance to do it yet, obviously, because the game was in 30 hours of maintenance or whatever, it wasn't that long, but you get what I'm saying, uh, so we'll go ahead and knock that out, um, and the final thing is I just want to go into a stage real quick, um, because there is a new filter that we can sort by, so let me just go to, like, I don't know, this EZA stage right here, um, and let me go ahead and click this, and now, uh, we can go ahead and sort by equipment. So, I mean, we'll be able to see, you know, what units are super powerful, you know, who's got the dupes and stuff like that. Like, look at all these guys that have the two dupes right there unlocked in that Vegeta. And then here we can start to see where they don't have that last slot unlocked. So, um, there definitely is a new feature that's going to be added here that is going to further the gap between whales and free-to-play players. This is gold equipment, um... Again, we'll we'll see how big of a deal it's going to be. Um, I, I I don't know as of right now. Um, I, I'm not too concerned though because it's not like there's PvP or anything like that. Because you know you look at like Legends, which created this Zenkai system, which is only for whales basically. But then like it's a PvP game, so like you're a free to play player, you go up against one of these whales as these Zenkai seven units, and you have like no chance unless you're unless you're on Goresh's talent level or like D Freeze talent level, like playing Legends. You go up against one of these Zenkai 7 units and you're toast. Like, you just don't have a chance at all. So, uh, it's good that Tokan uh, does not have PvP if they're going to add, you know, sort of mechanics like this geared more towards paying players, right? Uh, but we'll, you know, again, we'll, we'll see what uh, how everything's going to look. Um, actually, oh, let me go ahead and stop, uh, hop into one event real quick. Um, and then uh, I'm going to finish out because, obviously, you know, with the countdown having officially begun, um, we know right here that there is now the... Uh, load. Oh, oh, no, I'm so dumb. I jumped into this stage, which isn't going to show it because it's an easy A, so it does that. Okay, wait, 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 wait hold on. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to back out real quick, real quick. That was pretty dumb of me. <laughs> right. Yeah, the easy A doesn't have a loading screen. It just pops up, you know, uh, what stage you're going up against, right? Here, let me go into the Roshi training event because I haven't done that for the day yet. Um, and then we'll go ahead and grab, uh, blue... Kale and Khalifa, there we go. Bam. Seven days. Seven days until the anniversary begins. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Again, you know, day one before it begins is Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta. So Gogeta and Vegito, how good are they going to be? Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, seven days until the anniversary begins. 
Um, and I'll catch y'all next time.